tried to get in here to her spot, and we've actually spotted a coyote right down this uh, left edge right here. And we're gonna wait till he, uh, is he still out there, is he? He's working around that edge here. All right, yeah, we're gonna wait till he gets on around the edge back in the woods a little bit, and we're just gonna get right here behind us and put her call out and see if we can't call this sucker up. You still see? Let's go ahead and we'll slip in right here. Let's go ahead. Like he's smelling us and buck after an open. Right here to the left, see? Left, left, left. You want down on you, dude? Well, just had a freaking coyote come in about 60 yards, and John didn't let me know that he could blow on his trigger, so I, I pulled it way before I was ready. So that's all right. We got coyote back here behind us barking, and we got another coyote right here in front of us somewhere. We've heard barking, and I won't keep calling. We'll be all right. Hopefully we'll get a little redemption out right here. Well, this right here is a pretty special episode of Tooth and Claw TV. I want to introduce you guys to Zeke Nance. Zeke is a good friend of mine. He's been helping out a lot here this year, filming coyotes and stuff. And uh, we've decided to officially add Zeke to the Tooth and Claw TV family. And you're going to be seeing a lot more of him. Zeke, man, I'm pumped to have you on the team, I'm bud. I'm pumped to be here. We're going to go ahead and tell you a little bit about this coyote stand. This, this stand, you know, uh, we're, it's on up in the morning. This is actually late morning. This is probably about 10 o'clock. 
Uh, sun's up high, but it's a nice little shaded spot here. And we're supposed to have an east wind this morning, but man, our wind has been all over the place. Uh, we've, we've seen east, we've seen north, northeast, and southeast. So it's been pretty tough getting set up. And when we was coming in on this spot, we was actually wanting to circle all the way around and get into this pasture field, which is over to our right. We feel like we had had the wind in pretty good shape and we've been pretty close to our coyotes. But man, it, it didn't work out that way. We got stopped early. We actually saw a coyote was, all, was still out in this field mousing around a little bit. So we had to scramble, get set up, and go ahead and call it from where we was at. Which it worked out pretty good. We actually caught a coyote into our left, which worked, uh, worked to the downwind side. And unfortunately, that coyote ran off on us, and we never could even get a shot at it. But while we was watching that coyote, a second coyote come ripping just right across this ridge. Come down there and give give Zeke actually a pretty good shot, but uh, but Zeke's not used to the gun yet. Uh, you know, shooting this uh, 243 that I shoot a lot from how your custom rifles, and it's got a pretty pretty light trigger on it as Zeke, <laughs> yeah, Zeke has found out. So, but anyway, we, man, we just kept calling. Kept calling, switched sounds up a little bit. I think we was actually playing uh, Pup Distress number two when this great big old male busted out right here to the right, actually where we was going to set up at. And actually had another coyote, second coyote too, running across the ridge. But this coyote come right down here within, what, 50 or 60 yards? Close. Zeke put a good shot in there on him. Got a coyote down. Zeke, congratulations. Pumped to have you on the team, Pumped bud. to be here, brother. Thanks for joining us on Tooth & Claw TV. That's still good, boys. That's right.